Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gamey here, and welcome back to Pizza Connection 3, where yesterday, or was it earlier today, I guess, we had a pretty good shift going on. We're up to about 21,000. I think last episode we pretty much uh, limited our storage here, so that way we wouldn't spend so much on ingredients. So hopefully that's going to take into effect now. Uh, we're limited to about 720 here, uh, so hopefully there's going to be a case. Seems like things are running a little bit slow for some reason. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe just me. It looks a little bit weird. A little bit slower than normal. I don't know. It's okay. But we should still continue on this path. Let's see. Where are we at so far today? Actually, today so far we've already made a profit of $1,700. So things are looking alright. We still got like two shifts. Two or three shifts left actually during this shift. Or during today. So we should be fine. I'm trying to see. Ingredients 12550 so far. Uh, I was gonna say we may be able to spend a little bit more on marketing today uh, or in the near future Maybe we could boost it up to a thousand now at this point double what we have uh, but Maybe I should wait another day just to see 1708 and then 2923 Vespucci number two is Vespucci just go uh, Vespucci's to go is uh, 283 Vespucci number two still hasn't technically made a profit yet, but hopefully by the end of the day we should Vespucci is already 4,000 in the green, so we're looking pretty good, pretty good. I think I still got some more training that I need to do, though. Ah, uh, let's see. But your Jordan's pretty good. Gary should probably could probably use some training on speed, so let's go ahead and do that. Ah, uh, let's see. Dennis could probably also use some speed ones. Also, his health is really decreasing pretty, uh, pretty bad, or rapidly, shall I say. Um... I think I kind of went and overhauled some of my staff as well in terms of firing some of these uh, waiters that I didn't feel like I needed anymore. But let's see, Paul, uh, Charles, mm, Hannah. I feel like I have trained Hannah before for some reason. Apparently I didn't though, because she's still just as slow as she ever was. <laughs> just as slow. Howard can use a little bit of training in literally everything at this point. So we'll actually do friendliness training first, and then we'll move on to the speed training. I'm going to go through and look through some of my other employees as well, uh, just to see. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Why is it not showing up that I have employees scheduled for anything? Is it because it's not... What is going on here? Oh, okay, there we go. I guess I just had to switch it over. Uh, so let's see. We have... Looking through... Hannah Kira, we already started training her. Howard, we started training him as well. Crystal could have swore I trained her as well, but we'll go ahead and uh, give her some speed training. Amy will give her some speed training as well. So down to 23,911, Maryland. I feel like all these people I've trained before for some reason. But that's, I guess it just didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. Um, I think that's about it. We've cut it down to, let's see, we got three... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at uh, chefs instead of waiters. Uh, we got three waiters per shift pretty much, except for the late night one, which is uh, four. We actually have two for this shift, so that I think we should be good in terms of employees right now. Let me check on Vespucci number two. Alright, so two per shift, and I still got my runners going, so I think we're okay. Pretty sure. We we are still able to get some people from over there uh, so far. I think I did move my mascot now, so that's good that we're still able to get some people from here. And I said I was thinking about doing the, uh, the actual upgrade soon. I'm pretty sure we may be able to do it at the end of today, actually. Average ingredient quality is bad. Well, thank you. I, I definitely needed that right now. <laughs> Talking about my ingredients. How does it say it? How they? How is the average ingredient quality bad for here too? I don't exactly understand that, but I guess maybe it's the fact that I... Do I need to change my ingredient threshold possibly for this? I don't know. Why is my menu... Oh, I was about to say, I thought my menu only had the meats on it. I was about to say, that's the one piece I want to take off. Why the freak is it the only one there? That's not it. Why are we ingredient removal threshold? Let's change that to about... Maybe we need to change it about 60%. Because, I mean, some of this stuff is, like, really bad off. And I don't know why it's still there. But I don't want to get rid of it because I know if I do, we're going to run out of stuff. So, <laughs> and then we're going to be sitting here like, hey, we don't have enough to make a pizza for this one person that's sitting here. Which will be unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. Um, 3,924. We definitely are way on track to doing better than we did yesterday, even with less pizza. I guess it's just the ingredient costs are much less today. Although I spent... I guess the employee cost, the training is factored into that, possibly. Um, it doesn't say 12174 I don't think I hired anybody different. Uh, so, yeah, it must be just the training cost for all the employees. I'm going to go ahead and speed up some. I'm pretty sure I can speed through this shift because it's not going to be too busy. Um, so I don't expect any walkouts right now. 
and there's no one over here because we're closed. I still was trying to debate whether I want to open this up. What's going on? Gary Little? Okay, everybody's pretty much been trained at this point. Okay, there's just 15 pop-ups in a row. That's great. <laughs> Alright, so everybody's pretty much been trained, so we're looking good there. So they should be prepared for this late-night rush. Marilyn, I believe, is on Stephanie and Marilyn. That literally did jack squat, seems like. Unless she was way down there, which she may have. You're still walking as if there's nothing in the world that matters right now, other than yourself. Alright, Marilyn. I'm going to go ahead and train you again on speed, because you need it. And let's go ahead and see if we can train Stephanie again on speed as well. Uh, that's supposed to be increasing, so if I don't see that, I'm going to be very disappointed. Very disappointed indeed. What kind of voice is that, Albert, by the way? Amy, Amy, I think I trained Amy too as well. She seemed to have moved up some. Um, 24,933. It's almost the end of the day, so we'll see where we stand actually once this is over. I think we'll have about... 10,000 or 11,000 dollars uh, left over all things considered which is pretty good uh, so let me see if I can two times speed this at this point let me go check on speech number two by the way there is a there's not a flood of people well okay yes there is <laughs> now I wouldn't consider that a flood it's like two people over there and one person from over there although there should be more yes there's about three people four five there's still people coming to this restaurant I really don't like that at all that's the reason why I put this guy over here, so they wouldn't go over there anymore. But they're still doing it anyway. Like, that guy literally just walked in there for no freaking reason whatsoever. Maybe I should put him right out in front of the door, or just put him right here on this area here. Because that way he does still uh, get those people that come over there. Because most of them seemingly walk in a long line. Except for this girl, who's like the outlier and just walks over here. <laughs> Everybody else is walking down the same path, but okay. Whatever. You do you. You do you. Let's see. It's two times speed. No walkout so far. We got a couple more people coming in. Let me go check on Vespucci's. Looking okay here as well. And there we go. 12,780. Vespucci had 37 out of 50 visitors. 40 out of 50 found a chair. We had three walkouts? Maybe we, maybe they weren't walkouts. Let's say maybe they weren't walkouts. They were actually like people that just like maybe came in at the last second and couldn't get served. So I'm hoping it is. Uh, Vespucci's had one in terms of, I guess, possibly also the same thing. Because I didn't see anybody actually leave, so I'm assuming that's what it was. So now, that I see where we stand in terms of finances, let's go ahead and do, uh, the actual, up. Uh, I'd have to close the restaurant, wouldn't I? That's the unfortunate part. <laughs> that's the unfortunate part. I have to close the restaurant, and I don't know if I really want to do that. And now thinking about it is that the fact that I'm going to do this upgrade... I probably do need those employees that I fired last episode, or the, in the previous episodes. I'm going to need them, because the restaurant's going to be bigger, I'm going to have more room to put tables in, therefore we're going to be bringing in more customers, and I'm going to need those waiters for those extra customers. I'll probably hire about maybe two of them back, because I, I do feel like I was overstaffed now. Look, look how many people are in here right now. Why do I have this many? <laughs> I still have like five people in here. I feel like someone is just here from another shift and they didn't go home. That's why I feel... Because I, I thought I had four. Did I have five? Seriously? I Sometimes I can't count. I apologize. Yeah, it is five. Yeah, I probably could deal with four. But like I said, since I'm going to upgrade, I probably will keep the fifth person just in case. Not even just in case. I know I'm going to need the fifth person, actually. Uh, so I'm trying to think about a good time to close this down. I guess maybe in the next hour or two, maybe that 3 o'clock, between 3 and 9 might be a decent time. Possibly, or maybe not, I could be wrong. Go back and check on Vespucci 2, we're still doing okay over there. Did we actually make a profit yesterday? Because I know we were close to it, but I don't know if we made one. Vespucci's to go, Vespucci number 2 actually made $1,500 yesterday. That is not bad at all. Marilyn Mills' training has been completed. I swear this is not moving like that much at all. Goodness gracious, alright. And then, Stephanie's training was done as well, 13,892. Okay, like I said, this might be the time now, it's like 5 o'clock. Actually, but now I'm going to miss the, the student rush if I do this. We may have to sacrifice for a day. And I think I was talking about doing it at the other restaurant instead of Vespucci's, but I think I might just go ahead and maximize what we can from Vespucci's at this point. Uh, so let me see, architect mode, yes I'm aware. Maybe they won't actually stay away too long. I'm trying to see also how far my range starts to extend from this now. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade. 
uh, change the medium the rents gonna go up by I think a hundred dollars I'm okay with that all right the upgrade shall be complete actually I think it takes a while to do it doesn't it uh, it's gonna take upgrading the medium how long is this gonna take that's zero percent right now I feel bad now that I cut this off it may take all day so this is definitely gonna be a day of like no profit where's everybody are they coming back to the restaurant we're closed you guys realize that right <laughs> We are 100% closed. You can't work right now. I appreciate you for being there, but it's probably not safe for you to be there at this very moment, I would say. Okay, they just left again. Appreciate that. <laughs> now they're coming back out again. I don't know what they want to do at this point. <laughs> they don't even know what they want to do. Let me speed through, double speed, $5,000. Like I said, this is probably going to be a bad day now that I decided to do that. Because I missed out on the early morning student rush, which sucks. Because that, that one was like pretty much the thing that put us all over the top yesterday. They keep coming back and leaving at this point. <laughs> I just see them. It's, it's, a, it's a constant cycle. I guess this is a, the next shift, though. Oh, man. We, okay, so we've reopened. All right. How do we just lose that much money? Vespucci has been successfully upgraded. We now have a uh, capacity of 1,080 in our uh, storage facility. Where did we lose $3,000, though? Oh, is it? Wait, are the ingredients still here? Because it's showing up as them still being there, but they're not actually there anymore. So I'm kind of concerned about that. I know our furniture, if I'm not mistaken, has been saved. So we should be okay in terms of that. So I'm going to just place all this stuff back in here. We'll go ahead and do one table there. And I'll go ahead and place my two modern tables. I'll just kind of place them all down in like a little line here. Uh, there we go. And then we'll place the two rustic tables over here right there and right there oh I actually spent extra never mind that was bad <laughs> that was bad I think I have one simple table so we'll just put the simple table down here at the end this is not very well planned out or laid out at all but you know <laughs> it, it's just there at this point why do I only have three of these is that the I kind of messed up on the tables and I don't know which one I'm doing at this point I think why is that ah, I put that way too close to the other one actually it's gonna put that there I may be able to afford another chair. Let's do that. All right, so let's move. I need to move that down in this table. I don't know why I had that so close, but there we go. That's better. Nope, I just put it in the wrong spot again. God dang it. There we go. We can move this down a little bit too as well. All right, let's start putting in our modern chairs. One, that still might be a little bit too close to the other table there, but we'll see. That one can fit there. That'll work there. And I got one more chair. All right, we're good. Rustic tables. I have I only have four chairs, but I have two tables. What I do with all the rest of my chairs? <laughs> what happened to my chairs? Did they get sold? God dang. Or did I only have two at each table? That may be what it was. Because uh, I didn't have enough space, probably. I am literally going to be freaking dead broke at the end of the day at this point. So we are going to be in some trouble. <laughs> some serious trouble at this point, uh, financially. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and spend this last bit on another table, another chair. And I oh I gotta put my stoves back in. Uh let's my ovens, I'm sorry. Uh put one there. Put one there. And I could place another one in this corner. I almost forgot how to rotate things for a second. And then place this last one over here. There we go. That's nice and lovely. Alright, now I can get out of freaking design mode. Hopefully we can reopen and get some money. Uh but we'll see. It's gonna speed up. We are open now. I was in the red for a brief moment. We've got plenty of people coming over now, though, so hopefully we'll make up for whatever that was earlier today in terms of upgrading. I kind of don't like the layout that we have right now, per se, but I mean, I'm in the red again. <laughs> warehouse. What? How is the warehouse out of ingredients already? I feel like actually what has happened, I can restock it for 1200 but I feel like what has actually happened is... um. When we when we did the re upgrade, it did it actually got rid of all my ingredients. Uh, rather than us being able to just keep them, I think it did get rid of it. I can't see everything right now. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it definitely did because we had we had stuff that was like bad quality, so they definitely got rid of everything. That's why we spent so much money. I'm in the red again. <laughs> I'm in the red again. I can't even afford to restock at this point because of the fact that I literally don't have enough money. So I'm trying to get up to 1,200. There we go. That's just enough to restock the warehouse, which I don't even know how we already ran out of stuff. But let's. Oh, I I can't do it now. I almost had enough. 
Will it let me actually go red for this? It will not. <laughs> I thought it was going to let me do it, but it didn't. Come on, there we go. Perfect. Restock automatically when empty. I should probably do that. Uh, that would probably help out a lot. There's a lot of people in here right now. And it seems like they don't actually care where they sit. The students are less picky now about this. They're sitting everywhere at this point. We now have a capacity of uh, 23 people. Actually, we could get more than that. But, of course, it's just the fact that we, you know, <laughs> we don't. See, now our range is extended. So now we cover all of this area down here. As well as most of the uh, school zone here. So everybody that walks in here is now seemingly interested. As well as a lot of the people that are coming back that way. So... I, like I said, I don't, definitely don't think we're going to make a profit today due to everything that we've had to spend. Uh, $19,000 on ingredients, $7,000 for the building upgrade, $4,000 for rent now. Why is it $4,000? We only went up $100. Oh, wait. Oh, I had to spend $1,000 to restock the warehouse. That's probably why. I guess that makes sense. We're negative $24,000 though, so that's not exactly where I want to be. But I guess as long as we can get back up to about $13,000. Well, we probably won't make it to 13000 Well, it's no. 12000 for employees, 4000 for rent. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to be in that position by the end of the day. Seems like we're like just barely able to get to 2000 right now. So that upgrade may not have been the best time. Oh, wait. We're also freaking filling the god dang thing here. That's not something I wanted to do. Uh, let's take the ingredient threshold back down to 700 because uh, I did not intend on that being so much. That's why we're using so much. All right, so, you know, just use up what we have. We don't have to restock for the probably the rest of the day, I would think. Uh, so, hmm, 3,000. Yeah, we're definitely going to be in the hole tomorrow. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get back out. 5,000, 6,000. Mm, we may be okay. We may be. Let me check on Vespucci 2, by the way. They're okay. They're, they're doing it. They can handle everything over here. They're doing just fine. How are they looking so far today in terms of profit, though? Vespucci's to go is made 240. Well, only 240? Vespucci's, Vespucci 2 has made 200. Vespucci's at negative 7,000, negative 17,000 due to all the freaking upgrades and crap, but I'm pretty sure it'll be back on track tomorrow. At least I can hope. There is a pretty decent amount. Wait, what? How do we not have enough people for this? I have so many walkouts right now. How do we... Oh, we're getting way more people for this shift because it's usually not this busy. So I definitely need to hire another waiter for this shift because that was that was horrible. We got too many walkouts for that. Uh, this is the... Uh, let's see. Hold on. This is the 17... Yeah, I literally only have like two people in here for that. <laughs> like, so I definitely need more than... Uh, no, this is Vespucci 2. I'm sorry. Vespucci 1. Yeah, I definitely need more people for that. Let me hire another waiter. I might need to hire two now, considering how many people we got today. Or, like, one that's... Well, no one's really that well-trained. I was going to say, maybe someone that's really well-trained. Uh, we'll get Jacqueline. Jacqueline Ryan. I'm going to go ahead and schedule you for that shift. And I'm looking at the wrong thing again. I always look at freaking chefs. I don't know why I think they're red, even though I can clearly see that these guys are blue. So that... Okay, that was our third person, though, right? Why does it get so? Why does it get pushed that far down? though? that's the thing. Uh, we should. Should we need four? I don't. Hmm. I'm gonna hire a fourth one. If I find that we don't need it, I could just fire her. I mean, worst case scenario, that's gonna help. Oh my God! Look at how many people there are. <laughs> There's so many. Wall we can't handle it. We can't handle the business now. It's crazy. Yeah, they're not gonna show up for this though. They're not. This is actually now headed into the 18 to... Hold on. I may have put that person on the wrong shift. We're not even supposed to be open right now for... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one again. God dang it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that was on the right shift. It's just that they're not going to show up today because uh, it's late last minute. Unless they just show up a little bit later. But actually, <laughs> all things considered, you know, we... Oh, they did show up. I see them now. Thank goodness. Okay, so four... Seemingly is going to do the trick. Seemingly is going to do the job. And we may actually get back up to where we need to be so that uh, tomorrow we won't be too far in the hole. 14,000. 14,121. 14. I see another walkout. Yeah, the statistics for today are going to be pretty bad. <laughs> going to be pretty bad. Even on two speed, we're having walkouts at this point. So, yeah, not exactly what we want. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. It's just a flood of people now. Now, I know we should be able to, okay, I was going to say I know we should be able to handle this one, 
but it seems like we can't even handle the late night one either. Goodness gracious, why? Why is this happening? 23... Um, okay, we're handling it a little bit better now. 18,000, 17,000, wow. This upgrade has done wonders. Even though it put us in the hole early on, it has done wonders. Uh, Vespucci, let's see. We can end it after we look at these statistics. Um, Vespucci's had a total of 144 people today um, that found the chair. We could have had 240. 136 places to order, 127 received pizza. So we had about nine or... It seems that we had way more walkouts than that. I saw like 20 people leave at one point, I swear. Like, that's not... It still says we're doing okay, though. Vespucci number two... Uh, supply chain 54. Oh, I need to I was gonna say I may need to cut down there too, but nah, that wasn't the upgrade But all right, I think we're okay. I think we're gonna do just fine But I'm gonna end it here guys, and I will see you in the next one